Let's take a closer look at some of the additional features that you will find in the Microsoft Teams app and web version. So starting here in my left navigation bar, one of those features I want to talk about today is the chat feature. So I'm going to click on the chat icon and to the left, you will see a list of all of the chats that you currently have um, active or that you've participated in. And to the right, you will see the main chat window. Notice some similar characteristics to the Teams uh, channels windows. You have a conversations tab. You have a files tab for sharing files within the chat, um, as well as some additional tabs. We're going to focus on the conversation tab. Now, to start a chat with uh, an individual within uh, ECSD, come up here to the very top of the screen and in the search or type a command bar, just start typing the name of the individual you would like to chat with. So I'm gonna select John Ned, one of my fellow consultants, and that opens up a chat window. Now we've chatted before, so you can actually see our chat history in the conversations tab. And I'm going to go ahead and type a new message to John. This is very similar to posting comments uh, in your team's channels. Your message or conversation field is at the very bottom of the screen. And notice that you also have the ability to attach files, enhance your messages by adding emojis, adding gifs or gifs. even adding stickers and creating your own memes. But I'm gonna go ahead and send a message to John Ned. One of the things to keep in mind about this particular chat is that this is a private conversation, in this case between myself and John. This is very different from the conversations you have inside your team channels. Remember that inside your team channels, all of the members can see the conversations or comments or questions that you're posting. Inside chat, this is directly between you and the individual you're chatting with. Notice that you have a few features up here to the top right. We can add people to the chat. Let's go ahead and add Danny Moss. So I click on the add uh, people icon and I can just start typing Danny's name. And he should appear in the list below. There he is. So I'll select him and I can add more than one person to this chat. I'm going to go ahead and click add and now you'll see a new conversation started. And this time I have two participants, Danny and John. I'm gonna go ahead and type a message to the two of them to get the conversation started. Now, just like in the conversations tab inside your team's channels, you can like posts and you can also save posts. So I could go ahead and save this particular message and I can check my saved messages by going right up to the very top of the window and clicking on my Microsoft Office 365 profile picture and underneath my availability, clicking saved. And all of my saved messages will open up here for me to select from. And there's the particular message I saved of John Ned. Let's go back to chat. I'm currently in the Microsoft Teams app, and I just wanted to show you that in the app, you currently have the ability to make an audio call as well as a video call. You can simply start the video call by clicking on the little movie camera icon. Please note that you have the ability to make audio calls and video calls if you are using Microsoft Teams in the Edge browser, 
Notice here I'm inside chat uh, in Microsoft Teams in the Edge browser, and I have the video uh, call icon as well as the audio call. I do not have the ability to make video calls if I'm in the Chrome browser. That feature is coming to Microsoft Teams in Chrome. When I'm in a video conference call with another individual or multiple individuals, keep in mind you can have up to 25 people in a video conference call, I can share my screen in multiple ways, whether I choose to share the entire desktop or what's inside a specific window or even what's inside a specific app just as I can in Skype for Business. When you first start using Microsoft Teams chat, uh, you will notice that you do have an active chat with Tbot. Tbot is Microsoft's built-in AI to help you learn how to use Microsoft Teams. You can get started by typing a question to Tbot here in the conversations field. <laughs> and Tbot will try to find an answer for you. Microsoft Teams chat is an excellent feature for having private conversations with individuals or multiple individuals within the organization. Keep in mind that your conversations inside your Teams channels are available for all members of the team to view. So chat might be the more ideal place for you to ask a specific colleague um, a specific question uh, or have a conversation about a specific topic.